All right. Okay, so we are recording. It is Thursday, July 23rd. It is um, Team Persevere, Team Call, um, first one after Summit. So basically what this call is going to be about is going to be a recap of Summit, some activities that we are going to be able to just kind of spearhead, get the ground running, what kind of stuff we have coming up. I'm going to be sharing um, some tips for you to you know, start team cup with and, you know, if you were at summit or even if you weren't at summit and you seen everything that was going on, I'm going to give you some clear cut tips on how to kind of structure everything and how to um, just kind of spearhead this whole thing. So if you're, if you're new to the call, um, I am Liz Bellini. I am the founder and CEO of this team. Um, I've been a coach for four years since 2011. And um, this has just been a really great year. Like 2015 is, is the year of persevere. Ha, that rhymes. Um, I guess I guess it would always rhyme because it's the year. Every year would always be the year for pe persevere. So um, it's really exciting time right now. I just want to um, just kind of lead with that, like right now, because I, you know, whether you've been a coach for um, just a couple of weeks or a couple of months, um, or you've been a coach for a couple of um, years, uh, right now, right now, the the time that we're in right now, this, like, it doesn't seem like the most important time of the year, you know, because it's the end of summer, which is so sad for me to say, but I mean, we're moving into August. So people are starting to think about going back to school and things like that. Um, so, so, you know, on the outside, it doesn't really seem like this is a very important time of the year for health and fitness. But in the last four years that I've been a coach, it is actually the most vital time of our coaching business because right now is when we have to plant the seeds for what is to come. You know, we're, we're, we're heading into Q4, okay, the fourth quarter. It's like, it's like a football game. You know, it's like the last leg, okay? We're heading into the fourth quarter, and we have to just kind of – you know, just go for it. Okay. This is our last chance for 2015 because the seeds that we plant now are, are the ones we're going to reap at the end of the year when hello new year's comes. Okay. Like that's when we reap our harvest. So now is the time to plant those seeds. Now is the time to, you know, start ahead. And, and, and to be quite honest with you, now is the time. The people that we get started right now on their fitness journey those are the people who are going to get signed up with, let's say, the 21 Day Fix. And if they, you know, really um, grab a hold of that program, they do it and they focus and they get amazing results in 21 days, those are your coaches going into the next year because they've done the program, they've, they've um, got a story with it, they love the program. And we all know that customers who have results make the very best coaches. So now is the time when we get people started, we groom them for coaches, and we spearhead in 2016 with an army of coaches, okay? That's my piece on that. So let's get into some recognition before we really get into the meat of the call. So I really, I mean, wow, I mean, you guys saw the recognition, you know, banner today uh, in, in the team page. I mean, it's like overflowing, like, like everybody said, we need a new graphic. <laughs> so, um, so here we go. Like, I'm just going to read down, um, the volume because we had, we had a lot of people with, um, volume, um, in the 100. So I'm just going to go ahead with that. We had Merle Miller, Nicole Schmucker, Angela Wire, Ariana Rader, Melina Furtado, um, Paula Olgan. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing some of these right. Um, Jessica B.A., Sarah Drew, um, Stacey De La Cruz, Chelsea Clement, Rachel Werner, Stephanie Jones, Maxine Rivera, Jennifer Bickley, Candace West, and Mandy Miller. In our 200 volume, uh, we had Marley Mize, Scotty B, and Crystal Norris. I was in the 300, and at 400 was Heather Stetson leading the way. Um, we have some success club already, okay? So it's, it's July 23rd. Um, we have a little over a week to make success club. These are, these are the people who have made success club so far in July. Then we have people who are almost there. Even if you're at zero, you're almost there. It only takes three people to, um, you know, catapult you into the success club category. So leading the way I, and the numbers might be off because I know some people have, um, already added, you know, by the time I already collected all this data, but, um, we have Heather Stetson at, um, 10, uh, success club points. 
uh, she who is also working her mom's business center, which also has 10 success club points. So really she has like 20 success club points. Um, Chelsea Clement has 10 success club points. At eight, um, I have myself, um, Maxine is also at eight. We have at five, Mandy Miller, Marley Mize. So those are the people who are um, in Success Club right now. Um, some people who are almost there um, at four Success Club points, Rachel Warner. Oh my gosh, Rachel, you are like right there. You, you got this, you got this girl. Um, at two Success Club points, Paula Olgan, Nicole Schmucker, Candace West, Jessica B.A., and one Success Club point, Ariana. So whether you're at zero or four, you are almost there. It just takes three people. We have over a week. Totally can do this. Um, let's see here. Team Builders for the month of July. Um, we have added, gosh, um, how many hit coaches have we added? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 coaches or something like that to, to Team Persevere. Um, 10 of those coaches um, are from Heather Stetson. Um, two coaches uh, that were added to the team by both uh, Maxine Rivera, Nicole Schmucker, and myself, and Jessica B.A. also added a coach to our team. So great job, guys, um, on, on adding coaches, building volume, helping people with challenge packs. I mean, that right there just tells me so many people have been helped. So many people's lives are about to change. So great job um, with that, guys. And, and we have over a week left um, of the of the month to go. So we have some goals to hit. All right. So so what's going on with the team? I always like to touch base with what is going on with the team. Um, Obviously, you know that uh, a handful of us just got back from Summit. Um, whether you were there in person or whether you watched it on a live stream um, on a computer, you obviously, or you've seen it in the Facebook news feed, you got to see that there was so many amazing things happening. Um, and, I, and, and so many of you registered for next year's Summit. Like, it, that, that just was, is awesome. There's going to be so many of us there next year. And it's, it's going to be, I mean, I wish it was like July 2016, like right now. Like, that's how much fun we're going to have. Um, but, but we had new releases, like um, the, the program size, which totally surprised me. I really wasn't looking forward to it, but um, I, I decided to do it. Um, and it was, it was amazing. It was so much fun. If you haven't tried size yet, or if you've been skeptic about it at all, please just, just try it. Uh, you know, I think they have a, um, um, like a preview on, on demand. So even if you didn't buy it yet, try the preview. It's pretty fun. Um, other releases, we had the Shakeology boosts. So now um, you can put like a scoop of focused energy into your Shakeology, or you can get like a extra greens or, um, something for your digestive health. Um, so you can add those additives to Shakeology. The performance line, the performance line has all these amazing, um, which is, is kind of crazy because I think that this is going to add a whole new dynamic to um, our, our, what we're able to offer to people. You know, I know we have a lot of runners on our team and, and, you know, sometimes the programs don't always appeal to a lot of the running, um, uh, you know, category or the running, um, I don't even know what I want to say. Like they're just like their own little tribe. Um, but the performance line could really speak to, to people like that or even gym goers, you know what I mean? So, so keep that in mind with like the performance line. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, and, and I've got a couple of, of the things that, you know, I am definitely going to try. So definitely try it out and see how it's going to work for you. Um, the release of the fixate book, for, where that goes hand in hand with the 21 day fix. That is like something that you can totally use to your advantage. You know, I know a lot of coaches have been giving them away as gifts for those who get the, um, uh, 21 day fix challenge pack. That's a, that's a great idea. Um, or it's a great add on as well. You know, it's definitely going to be something that's going to support all of our 21 day fix, um, challenge packs. Um, and then, of course, we have the new program that's going to be coming out in December, with which is, is the first time that they've ever um, done this. It's they've put two trainers in one program. So Autumn Calabrese and Sagi Kalev are teaming together to um, spearhead the program called Hammer and Chisel. So the way that they kind of explained it at Summit is like they are going to. Um, like there's, it's, it's not only just going to be for like, you know, kind of building muscle, but it's also going to be for performance, like athletes, like it's, you, you'll, you'll perform better agility, strength, you know, 
hammer and chisel. So I'm strong chisel. You know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I really don't know what to expect from this, but it looks exciting. It's the first time they've ever done this. Um, and, you know, obviously, if, if, you, if you know people who are big fans of Autumn, this is a great recommendation program to offer to your 21 day fix um, customers. Okay, next on the list is Super Saturday. Get to a Super Saturday. Do everything you can in your power to get to a Super Saturday. Um, it's, I mean, I know it's the weekend right after Summit. You know, we, those of you that went did a lot of traveling. Um, it's, and, and now you have to go to a Super Saturday. It seems like something that's just like a daunting task. Are they just going to, um, you know, talk about the things that, you um, were at Summit. Yes, they're going to recap everything that was at Summit. But I can tell you this, there is nothing quite like getting in the room with like-minded people. Okay. You know, my mentor, Tommy always said, you know, if you want to catch fire, you got to stay close to the heat. Okay. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the chance to get in a room, you never know what kind of story you'll hear or person you'll meet that will kind of unlock your, like, genetic code or, or destiny. I've been listening to Joel Osteen a lot, you know, so, and, and Scotty recommended that to me. Um, but you never know what story you'll hear or what might just spark in you um, or what kind of person you'll meet that's going to unlock something in you and just, you'll, you'll just release it into the universe. Um, I've had a lot of moments like that in, in these like little events that I've gone to and Super Saturdays are one of them. So if you can do everything in your power to get to one, not just for the content, but just to get in the room, to feel the feel, you know, the, the, the power and energy that's in that room, because you, you know it and I know it, there's nothing like Beachbody coaches. We just get each other. Okay. And being in the room with everybody like that, it just kind of works. So, so get, so get to one. You can look in the coach online office under events to find one in your area. I'm going to be in Cleveland. So, um, at, which is really exciting because there's going to be some corporate representation there from the central region. I'm really excited about that. So, so that's where I'll be headed. Um, actually tomorrow night, we're going to stay in Cleveland for super Saturday. So other things going on with the team, Tuesday night webinars. You all know that we always do a Tuesday night. What is coaching webinars? Keep inviting people to those. That is the best way to have um, exposure to the coaching opportunity, okay? We, we've been doing them since May. We've done them since May, June, and all of July. There's no doubt that that's the reason why our team has grown significantly in the past three months. Because we, when you put the coaching opportunity out in front of people, then you expose it, you know? And, and the more people grab onto it, okay? So, so invite. We, we're going to have four What is Coaching webinars in the month of August. Invite those every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Um, the last thing going on with the team, uh, heading into August, Team Cup. We have, some, we have like three or four Team Cups in Team Persevere, which is awesome. Um, if you're not on a Team Cup and you want to be, reach out to me or one of the team leaders. We'll find somebody to put you on a cup. We will find... Um, a, a team to connect you with. Okay. Uh, don't, I mean, it's just a really great way to, um, you know, combine your energy. You're pushing each other. It's, it's a great experience. So, um, so, so I just want to share some, for those of you who are on a team, or if you're a leader of a team, um, I met with my team cup today and these are some of the goals that we talked about. So I think if you, if you don't know where to start, I would, um, be yeah. writing, writing some, um, notes down, this is, these are some of the things that you want to think about as far as like team cup. You want to have a team goal. What does your team want to achieve? You know, do you, what, what, what prizes do you want to achieve? What, what kind of points do you want to achieve? Do you want to go to the trip? Do you want to win the trip to LA? You know, that is, that is a goal. Have a team goal, but then also have individual goals. I'm looking at my notes. Um, so also have individual goals. You know, how many, what's the minimum of success club points that you want to earn in the month of August? Make sure you make that very clear so that you know it and you, your team knows it and they can hold you to it. How many coaches do you want to add to the team? Do you want to rank advance in the month of August? What, what do you want that rank advancement to be? You know, write it down. Be very specific. And then break it down. You know, if you want to earn, you know, 35 success club points in the month of August, which is the cap, you know, that's the most you can earn as far as team cup. I mean, you can earn as many as you want, but the most that is going to count towards a team cup is 35 points. So, um, 
if you want to earn 35 points, then then you break it down, that's about eight success club points a week. So if you break it down even further, that's about four people a week you're helping with challenge packs. Okay. So when you break it down, it seems doable, especially if we're planting seeds and we're really working the business like we should. Okay. So which brings me into the meat of our discussion tonight. Um, you know, how are we planting these seeds? How are we spearheading this kind of movement towards the end of the year so that we can finish 2015 as strong as we possibly can? Um, I'm going to break it down for you. Um, this is like a two part kind of, um, call okay because it wasn't really meant to be a Q&A but I know that there might be some questions that come up so if you have a question type it into the zoom chat and I will do my best to answer the question right on the spot okay because there might be some questions going on because I'm gonna be going over a lot this is probably a call that you'll want to be taking notes on and it's probably a call that you're probably gonna to want to listen to again to fill in your notes because there is gonna be a lot of information and I think it's like good information. This is, I'm giving you what I've been doing for the past three months, okay? And this is what, you know, you can, you can do, all right? So my tips as far as an action plan post-summit, that's the first category. You know, those of you that went to Summit, um, and those of you who didn't, and you watched online, pick at least two things that maybe you, that you, that you, that really caught your attention at Summit that you really need to work on. Maybe you really need to work on um, building up your Facebook like page. Maybe that's something that you want to focus on. Let that be one of your focuses. Or maybe um, you, you want to focus more on, um, I don't know, face to face or, 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 whatever, or whatever it is. Or maybe you, you need to focus more on challenge groups or maybe you need to focus more on recruiting coaches. Okay, so think of what it is that you and your heart feel you need to work on in your business and, and, and just focus on that, you know, because there's so many things that, that you can worry about. You can worry about, you know, the boosts and, and the performance line and things like that. You know, those are just the products, you know, think about your business and think about what it is you need to work on and just focus on that and live in that. Okay, because there's so, there's so many bells and whistles going around. If you try to focus on it all, you'll just be really spread out. Just focus on one thing that you feel like you need to work on that will help your business, whether it's broadening your network via Facebook like page or, um, you know, inviting more people or putting the coaching opportunity out to more people. Focus on, on those and then, and then break it down and work on one item a day that will push you towards that goal. Okay. In addition to, um, you know, like your power hours and things like that. Um, so, so in addition to that, you know, these are some things that I really want you to focus on for, for the rest of the year. This is, these are, these are, I mean, if you really want to, um, grow your coach business and really start to be consistent with, um, what it is that we're doing as a team collaboratively to help our team grow. You know, it's like, we're all rowing in the same direction. We get to where we want to go faster when we're all rowing in the same direction. And these are the things that we should all be focusing on from now until the end of this year. You know, we're not looking past 2015. We're looking from now until December 31st. Okay, so obviously number one for me is making success club. Success club should be non-negotiable, okay, for the rest of the year. Just wrap your brain around that. Making success club in July through December, okay? So, so for the rest of the year, making success club um, a, a top priority. Um, and like I said before, now is the foundation, now is the time to lay the foundation for 2016, all right? When we get to December, which is when Hammer and Chisel is gonna be released, you want to have planted so many seeds that it is just a bountiful harvest come December when people are starting to think about New Year's resolutions, okay? I mean, Sometimes people think, oh my gosh, December is going to be so hard to, to, to make success club because people are, are, are buying Christmas gifts and they don't have any money, but actually, actually it's the exact opposite. You know, people want to get ready for the new year. They're ready for a fresh start and we have the answer to that. Okay. We know that new year's resolutions are at the top of people's list in the end of December. Once Christmas is over, they're like, okay, on to the next. We live in a world that is on to the next, on to the next. We need to take full advantage of that, all right? Um, so how? 
how do we do that? Okay, so I'm breaking it down even more. And it, basically what it boils down to is that you're doing the right activities that are going to help you reap the right results. Okay, and I feel like as a team, we are, are starting to do that because we have a small group of coaches who are focused every day on doing the right results every day. And it's just about doing it consistently. And once you get in a rhythm of doing it consistently, it's like that little snowball starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Um, the, one of those ways to do that is to make sure that no matter what you have a power hour. Okay. You have a power hour where you are focused solely on these are the three things that I do in my power hour. I send out friend requests anywhere from 10 to 15 friend requests a day. And of those friend requests, um, usually, usually, and this is, this is for me, this is what works for me. I utilize my Facebook like page. I, I've been doing that ever since January of this year. Um, just because I find that I'm able to reach more people at an easier rate. And, and it's easier as opposed to me going and trying to find those people. The like page just attracts those people to me. So people who, so, so, so how, so which ones am I friending? The ones that I'm friending are the ones that are liking my page. Okay. They're liking my page. So once they like my page, I friend request them. If they like a comment or, or a post, I, I friend request them. And I try to keep it to 10 or 15 just because of like Facebook rules and things like that. You don't want to get in Facebook jail and things like that. So, so just 10 a day. And um, that's a good number to start off with. And just, um, you know, keep an eye on those friend requests. I, I write them down in a notebook. Every person that I send a friend request to, I write their name down in a notebook. And if they accept my friend request, then I just put a little check next to their name because now we're friends. And then I shoot them a really quick message. Okay. And, um, I might have, I might have, um, posted this in the, in the team page. I'm not sure. I think Mandy or somebody asked what that little message was, um, that I send to people. Um, but it's really simple. It's just like, you know, I see if I can find it really quick. Um, yeah. So, so basically it reads, Hey, you know, and I say their name. Hey, Jessica, thank you for accepting my friend request. Nice to meet you. I think I noticed your name on my like page. I love connecting with those that are into fitness so much. Have you been into fitness for a while or are you new to it? Um, that's the message that I send to people who accept my friend requests and about, and I'm going to paste it right in the chat section. Um, and that is what I send them. Okay. And, and, I would say at about eight out of 10 of those people that I send that to, they answer me back. And then I get conversations going with them. So for me, that counts as like messages that I get out per day. Okay, so I'm, I'm friending people, I'm broadening my network, and I'm sending out those messages. Okay, so that includes my, my power hour. I'm liking, I'm, I'm friending new people, I'm messaging new people, and I'm following up, and I'm keeping a list. Okay, a list of people that I've been talking to, you know, what stage in the game that they're at. And um, I know a lot of people um, ask, you know, well, how do you make the transition from like just small talk into like, a, like an actual invite to a challenge group? And basically, I, the, your, you know, the questions are the answers. Okay, so I try to ask the right questions that, um, are going to give me the answers that I want. Okay. It sounds a little bit manipulative, but it's really not. It's just about asking the right questions. You want to take a genuine interest in them because your genuine interest is about how you can help them. You know, they liked your page for a reason. That's what makes it so easy to reach out to people who are liking your like page. You know, they liked your like page for a reason because they're into either health, health or fitness. So it makes it easy to transition into that health and fitness talk. So I send that initial message and yes, end with the open ended question. I never, even, even I never leave a message without an open ended question because I want them to answer me back. And, um, 
And so once I, you know, kind of, I kind of build that, I kind of nurture that relationship just by taking a genuine interest in them. And I ask the questions like, well, what are your, like, what, what, what are your goals? You know, because usually they tell me, oh, I've been into fitness for a while and I've been doing this or no, I'm not into fitness, but I really would like to be I'm like, oh, well, what, what are you trying to reach? What are your goals? What it did that, you know, you ask those questions and then they vomit all over you what they want. And normally what I do once they kind of tell me, um, you know, what it is that they want, I go right into a message that says this, that I just posted and it says may, but you just changed the month. It says, you know, I, I really don't know if this would be for you or not, but I'm getting ready to set up my August fitness accountability group. I'll be taking five. It says women, but you can say I'm taking five people this month to help, you know, get them started on my 21 day fitness program. I'm promoting the 21 day fix, um, with structured at home, 30 minute workouts, portion control meals, one meal included talking about Shakeology and a spot in the group support page. You know, would you like to hear more about that? I think you'd be a great candidate for, to join us. And, and that's, that is, that is your invite. That is your invite. Okay. And they're either going <laughs> to, I'm going to say like, I want to say 10 times out of 10 people are going, yeah, tell me more because you're just saying, you know, you know, I don't know if this would be for you or not, but this is what I'm doing. And they're like, okay. And then you follow the script. You follow the Anita Myron script that's in our team page. You follow it word for word. And, and I promise, you know, you'll, you'll start to get some traction with that. And, and, and like, um, you want to follow it all the way through the end. You know, you want to give people the option of whether or not to be a coach, to sign on as a coach or a customer. You want to put it out there. You have to put it out there. You cannot, you know, um, Danny Johnson had mentioned something in one of her seminars. You know, you cannot leave somebody else's destiny in your mouth. Whether they are destined to be a coach or not, you need to ask that question because you don't know. You might be sitting on the next Lindsay that way. You know, you don't know. And if you don't ask, then you'll never know. Okay. So ask. And the worst thing that they could say is, no, I don't think coaching is right for me. I think I'll just be a challenger. Okay. Here's your challenge pack. It's still great. You know what I mean? That's still great. So make sure you're following the script and, and you're following it right to the end. Um, and that is, and that is really, you know, what I'm doing in my power hour. Okay. And I don't spend any more than an hour. Okay, guys. Like I know, and you might get friend requests that come in, you know, after your power hour is done, you feel like, Oh my God, I need to get to them. No, those are for the next day. You go back to your friend list, you see who you recently added, and then you make a list. Okay. They, they accepted my friend request. Those are your messages. You send out your messages then, okay? Because we're trying to find balance here, okay? We're not trying to be coaches 24-7 attached to our phones all the time, okay? We want balance, and we have a power hour where we're focused, and that's all we're working on, okay? So, so get really good at perfecting that. If you have questions about that, go into the team page and ask about that, okay? This is not something that's going to happen overnight, okay? You have to work at this. All right. And it's going to work. So just make sure that you're doing those vital things, friending people, broadening your network, keeping track of those people with a list and then messaging those people and keeping track of the people that you've messaged. Okay. And using those opening, um, those opening, uh, lines that I gave you. So Scotty asked, how many people on average are you messaging in your power hour and having conversations with? Um, I mean, I'm, it, it really, it really varies. You know, um, some days it's, it's maybe, you know, five or 10 and, and other days it's, it's, it's 20. It's, it's whoever, it's whoever has accepted my friend request and on top of people that I might've found in my regular newsfeed. That's not my like page. Okay. Like don't like that, like work the two of them together. But I'm telling you right now, a Facebook like page is going to work in a lot of your guys's favor. Okay. I promise you. And if you're a brand new coach, um, you know, work with, work with me on that. Um, because you know, obviously you're a brand new coach. You have, you have a lot of potential in your, in your regular Facebook page and in your warm market. Um, and, and a like page right away might not be something that you'll start with. But I mean, if you, if you've been a coach for a while and you've been working your main Facebook page, it's time to open up a Facebook like page and really start utilizing it for the best way that you, you can. Okay. So, I mean, I, I try to message at least 
you know, 10 to 15 people a day. I mean, I really do. I, that, that's the only way that you get, you get it out there. You know, the, the more you up your numbers, the better your chances are you, you get to getting a yes. That's the bottom line. And, and you're doing this every day, guys. Okay, every day doing this power hour. You have to get con consistent with it. All right, every day. Um, all right, so going on the everyday thing, I don't know if some of you coaches who have been around since the beginning of the year, you know that in the beginning of the year, we started following a team schedule, okay? We kind of got away from the team schedule as the summer months came up because I think we decided that um, obviously running a free clean eating challenge group during the summer months was not something that was going to do very well. And I, and honestly, I don't think it would have done very well because not everybody is like thinking about clean eating during like barbecue season, you know, or, you know, sitting on your back, par your back porch, drinking beers and eating s'mores, you know, over a fire. Like they're just not thinking about clean eating during the summer months, you know? So I think it was a good idea to just let that lie, um, for the summer months. But coming into August, I really feel like we need to readapt our team schedule of running a free clean eating challenge group, okay? And in the free clean eating challenge group, there is a document in the team page that shows you how to run a free clean eating challenge group. Um, feel free to team up with another coach if you want, but ideally, you should be running these on your own. It's really easy to run them on your own. Um, there's a document in the team page under the files section that shows you exactly how to run a free clean eating challenge group. It gives you the posts. It gives you the recipes. All you have to do is copy, paste, and post it. And of course, you have to promote it. You have to have people in your free clean eating challenge group. Okay, the idea behind the free clean eating challenge group is to offer value to people without having to charge them. Okay, you earn their trust and you get them in the idea of wanting to get in a routine. Okay, and once they finish that five day clean eating challenge group, then they're ready for more. And there you are as a coach, ready to offer them more something maybe a little bit more um, uh, with more with more dedication, like say the twenty one day fix or something like that. That's where that's that's just how you can. Um, attract new people. People like free. Okay. So the free clean eating group is, is one way to do that. So if we decide to, to get back on the monthly schedule, then we always run the free clean eating challenge group in the first week of the month. Okay. And we promote it in the last week of the previous month. So we would promote a free clean eating challenge group the month of July 27th. Okay. So if everybody's got their calendars out, it, we, you'd promote it July 27th. And then you would start it on August 3rd, okay? And you'd run the five-day clean eating challenge group from August 3rd to August 7th, I think, is the date. So from the 3rd to the 7th, that's when your free clean eating challenge group would go. That's where you would um, connect with more people who are in your free clean eating challenge group, all right? Um, and, and, and that just kind of gives you seeds to plant, Okay, like those are the seeds that you're planning. And that gives you a list of people to invite once the free clean eating challenge group is over and saying, hey, I don't know if this would be for you or not, but da 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 da. Okay, so, you know, they, they want to maybe piggyback off of the great work they did in the free clean eating group. Okay, it leaves them hungry for more. Okay, so that is one way that we have been kind of designing our month. Okay, so when people um, are doing that, then it opens up the second month of August to invite people to our challenge group, which you want to set a date to start a challenge group in the month of August. Okay, so if you're thinking, you know, you want to start a challenge group on August 17th, that would be a great date. It would give you guys enough time to invite people and, and, and get through the, the script and to help those people enroll. And then they would start on the 17th or even the 24th. The se I mean, that's when school is starting. You know, I mean, people want to get back on a routine. Okay. So this is a really good month to do those things. Um, do you add fitness into the free clean eating group or is that pushing it? Asked Sarah. Um, you can incorporate um, fitness if you want. Um, honestly, if you just want to grab like one of Autumn's like YouTube videos, and um, she has like little short little like workout videos, maybe like, I don't know, once a day or once every other day, just post one of those autumn YouTube videos in there. And, and, and maybe that will, that's just like an extra bonus for the free clean eating group. I've done that. 
I've done that before. So, um, and Shalene has them too. Yes, she does, Scotty. Shalene has great workout videos and they're short. So if you just want to promote fitness in there, that's fine. Um, you know, a lot of people are talking about Hootsuite in the, in the stream. Um, Hootsuite is, um, a, is a, is a computer app where you can actually schedule your posts. Um, and, and, and you can use the free version. I personally use the free version. There's a few coaches that use the paid version. There's like other extra perks and things like that, but I totally get away with using the free version. Um, so that way you don't have to like post all the posts. Like you don't have to be like a computer every second of every day. You can just schedule those posts and they just appear in your, in your free cleaning group. Um, if you have any questions about that post it in the page we're here to help you guys with this um, now moving on from that um, in the second week of August or actually in every week in August on Tuesdays don't forget about the glance into coaching group, coaching groups you want to be continuously um, inviting people to that invite people from your free clean eating challenge group it doesn't hurt to invite those people just say, hey, I don't know if this would be for you or not, but um, my team is doing a what is coaching. It, it includes like all the healthy eating stuff that we've been doing and, and it, it just might be something that you might wanna look into. Invite them, okay? You wanna invite people consistently to this um, you know, glance into coaching group. It happens every Tuesday. So in addition to our calendar, free clean eating group and then glance into coaching groups every Tuesday. And set a challenge group date. When are you going to start your challenge group? Whether it starts on that date or not, you want to have a date to tell people, hey, I'm starting a challenge group on August 17th, okay? So that way when you're talking to them on August um, 13th or August 11th or whatever, you can say, hey, um, you know, there's like five more days until this group starts. I would love to get you enrolled if you're seriously considering this, okay? So, um, so, so, so keep those, so keep that schedule in mind. Okay. So it's free clean eating and then inviting to the glance into coaching groups and making sure you're setting a challenge start date. Okay. Which can be flexible. It can totally be flexible. So, um, so, so starting in August, getting back on that team schedule. Um, in addition to that, we also run a Coach Basics every month. Um, uh, I personally will either start um, a challenge of uh, a, a Coach Basics group on August 10th, and um, and then the one going into September will probably um, be on September 14th. So keep that in mind as you're inviting people to the glance into coaching groups. Um, you'll want to use the um, Coach Basics groups as as kind of as leverage. Okay, like you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna sign up as a coach because the next coach basics group starts on you know August 10th or August or September 14th. Okay, that you can kind of use those groups as leverage. So um, and we and, and I know that Heather has been running um, her own coach basics groups too. So if you're in Heather's organization, um, you know definitely check with her too. We, there's a chance that we might be running them on the same day or running them together. So you just want to make sure that you check with somebody. Um, you can, just had mentioned, do you mention the start date of the challenge group date in the invite or on Facebook posts? You can do either. I mean, you really can do either. Um, I, I, I sometimes do both. Sometimes I just do in the message. Sometimes I do um, on, 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 on my post. So I, I don't think there's any right or wrong way. Um, you, can, you could do either one. You know, if you want to create urgency, then usually adding a date to it, that's usually what that does. So, so that's always an option. Um, okay, so I want to dive into, um, got about 15 more minutes left of the call that I wanted to, to, um, to do this. And I, and I really wanted to talk about like Facebook promotions because I know that a lot of people have been talking, asking questions about Facebook ads, Facebook promotions, and things like that. Um, you can promote both on your main page and on your Facebook like page, you know, just have a, just have an even balance of, of them on there. You know, I personally like to post more personal stuff on my, um, my main page. Okay. Like they're like on my main page, it, it's it's more me. I very rarely ever talk about anything Beachbody on my main page. Um, it's more it's more about my own fitness. It's more about my own journey. It's more about my own beliefs, my own faith, my own food. Um, I'm just sharing myself with other people. That's usually how I do it. And, and every now and then I'll slide um, something Beachbody in there or a challenge group in there or something like that. Um, 
And basically, that is just a concept that I learned from a book by Gary Vanderchuk that's called Jab, 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 Right Hook. Okay, so the jabs, like, okay, so if you're like jab, 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 right hook, okay, so like the jabs are me talking about my own journey. You know, it's not promoting anything. I'm not, I'm not, you know, asking for somebody doing um, uh, a challenge group or, or, or saying, hey, you got to do Shakeology or, or whatnot. It's just me sharing my journey. Those are, those are jabs, okay? Me, me sharing my family, me sharing my faith, um, me sharing my fashion, okay? It's, those are jabs. So it's jab, jab, jab. And then I happen to post something about, hey, I, just so happens I'm going to be running a size challenge group or something like that. You know, that's a promotion. That's a hook. Okay. So that's where you're hooking them. So you want more jabs than hooks. You don't want hook, 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 hook. That's when you become like that annoying beach body coach. Okay. Like that you want more jabs than hooks. Okay. You want to provide value in your posts. It's the same thing on a Facebook like page. Same exact thing on a Facebook like page. Um, you know, you want to share your journey, you want to share your family, things of value, and then you promote. Okay. So, um, so, so, so one of like the big things is like, you know, I would say like once a week you have like a call to action post, which is like a right hook. Okay. So like once a week you have one of those, all your other posts should just be value. All right. They should just be value. And I personally like to personalize the things that I share. Okay. When I say personalize, I mean, I don't grab, um, like a, a beach body promotion picture. I don't ever use those ever. Like those are great and they're pretty. And, and the company does a great job of, of putting those out there, but for, but they can, because they are a big conglomerate corporation. Okay. People expect that from them because they are a big corporation. But when, but when coaches, you know, to me, this is just my personal opinion. When coaches share those like promotional beach body pictures, that to me just screams like, I'm going to sell you something. You know, it, and, 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 and that just turns people off. They're like, oh, there's another Beachbody coach. You know, if you notice, a lot of Beachbody coaches do that, okay? It's almost like you, you see what everybody's doing and you want to do the exact opposite. That's exactly what you want to do, okay? You don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I mean, have you ever seen, like, Janelle Summers or, or Lindsay Matway or Anita Myron post, like, promotional pictures? Like, no, you don't. You don't and they're top coaches, all right? So, and I'm just saying that because... I, I know, I know what works and it, it's worked for me and I see it working for other top leaders. So when I post, I want to make sure that I'm personalizing it in some way. Like it's my picture. Like I, I created that picture and do I dare say selfies, but I mean, <laughs> they work like they work. Like if you can personalize it some way, shape or form, it's just more of a personal connection. That's just the platform of Facebook and it's just the business that we're in. Try it, see if it works for you. That's what has worked for me. So that is what I am recommending to people um, on both main page and Facebook like page. All right. Um, so let me see here. That is what I wanted to touch base on that. And then the big question that I had when um, I decided to do this um, call was the Facebook ads. Okay, so Facebook ads can be pretty, um, you know, tricky. You know, it's hard to wrap your brain around um, paying money to promote yourself. I know. I was, this, I was the same way. I was like, okay, I'm not, in the beginning, I was like, I'm not really making that much money with Beachbody. I don't want to spend the money that I am making on a Facebook ad. Like, that was like, I didn't want to do that. I resisted it for so long. And to be completely honest, this is the first year that I've actually invested my, you know, money into Facebook advertising. And I got to tell you, it's paid me back tenfold. Okay. And it's not something that happens right away. Okay. I've had this conversation with other coaches on our team. It, you know, in the beginning, it seems like you putting money in and you're getting no return. I mean, hello, isn't that just how coaching works too? I mean, in the beginning, you put time in and, and it seems like everybody's telling you no. It's because you haven't given it enough time to work. You haven't figured out the kinks. And, and, and Facebook ads are, are kinks, okay? There are kinks in Facebook ads. My personal recommendation, this is what I would recommend people starting off with Facebook ads, um, 
so so there is a thing called there's two ways to promote an ad on Facebook you can promote via the power editor and I am not an expert in Facebook ads, but you, but, but power editor is in the ads manager. Like if you click on ads manager, um, then, then you will be able to see the power editor and it only works in Google Chrome browser. Okay. So it only works in Google Chrome browser. Now I am going to be 100% um, honest with you. I have not figured this out to where it works great for me yet. I have studied people like Amy Porterfield and Shaleen Johnson through using the power editor to promote Facebook ads. And honestly, that is something that I'm just going to have to bless and release to you. If you want to learn that, you're going to go have to go learn that on your own. I cannot teach you that. I'm still learning it myself. What I can tell you is what has worked for me as far as Facebook ads go. And that is boosting posts. Okay. And it's pretty easy. So you post it on your Facebook like page and then you'll see on the bottom of a Facebook like page, there's a boost option. You can boost, you can target your market. You can put in how much you want to spend. You can, you can put in as little as $5. I mean, if you're hesitant about this, you can, you can spend as little as $5. Or if you want to spend like $20 over the course of the next seven days. So you're just going to, it's just going to evenly break it up just to, to, to test the waters and see how it does. Um, you know, as far as like targeting goes, um, it, that, that depends on the post. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I personally like to target people who are like me. Okay. When I'll tell you one that worked really well for me was when I did the running group. When we did the running group, I targeted, um, like run Disney, um, uh, um, run keeper, uh, people just love to run. Like that's a huge market. Like runners is a huge market. Um, and I'll, and I put in things like Lululemon, which is like an athletic line. Um, I, I have targeted target, um, um, like what, what is the other one? I can't think off the top of my head. Um, but random stuff, like I've targeted like Michael Kors, um, Mark Jacobs, which are all fashion designers. Um, and those, and sometimes those just narrow it down as opposed to just saying, I'm going to target fitness or fitness moms or Michael Kors is a designer, Scotty. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's me. Okay. Like those are the people, like people who like Michael Kors, um, the, the, there'll be more like me, you know? So Scotty, maybe you want to like target like Duck dynasty or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, like something like that, like think about who you are and, and, and try targeting. It's really, you got to play around with it. And honestly, ask, ask, depending on what, um, what, what your ad is going to be about, just be like, okay, this is the ad I got. Um, who do you think we should target? And, and, and we'll help you like target it. Okay. And we'll play around with it. It's going to take some playing around with it. I'm going to tell you right now, I've had some ads that have done really super freaking good. And I've had some ads that have sucked really sucky bad. I'm like, man, I can't believe I paid 20 bucks for that. I got nothing from it. But then, but then you get an ad like my, um, and this is what I want to, this is what I wanted to go over. And I'm going to like, I'll tell you right now, I probably boost three posts a month. Okay. And I don't hardly ever go over 50 bucks. Okay. I hardly ever go 50 bucks. Um, so at the most a month, I'm probably spending anywhere from 150 to $200 a month on Facebook ads. That's it. Okay. And some, and some people might be going, that's it. But for me, that's, that's where I draw the line. Um, but then, you know, you might do something where you, um, like for me, I am running, I usually run three main ads on my, on my, on my page. Usually one is a coach. One is a coach ad promoting what is coaching. I have one of those going, you know, throughout the month usually, or, or usually like one week out of the month. Um, which I'm going to tell you right now, the coaching ads, I just don't, I have no luck with those ever. I might get a handful of like five people maybe from those. The challenge group ads, those are pretty good. Like I always have a challenge group ad. Like I'm looking for five women, you know, Da, da, da. That's usually like a boosted post. And then I like to have an ad for likes. Okay. So if you have an ad for likes, 
right now, currently, I have a abs, like abs, abdominals, abdominals workout video. It's 15 seconds long. Um, that is running. I started it on July 1st. And I was like, you know, I don't really want to spend a whole bunch on this because I'm going to run it for the whole month. So I decided to run it for a dollar a day. So I decided to run it for a dollar a day for the whole month of July. Okay. And so it was like 30 bucks or something like that. I'm like, let's just see how it, how it goes. So I started this on July 1st. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I'm just going to share my screen really quick here. So that way I can just show you what I'm talking about. Um, so where's my stuff? So can you guys see this? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can see this? Yeah. Okay. Cause I just want to show, I just want to show you this. So, um, I'm going to my like page right now cause I want to show you what I did. So it was just a 15 second video of me doing these ab moves and it was just music being played in the background. And so this has been running since, um, what, uh, J July 1st. Hold on. That's not what I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Or maybe I can just click on it. There we go. Okay. So see, I'm just going to let it go. So you can see it's just me doing abs. It's 15 seconds long. It's me doing abs for 15 seconds. And I posted this in July for a dollar a day. This is how crazy this is. It's been viewed 65,871 times. It has been shared 958 times, and it has 971 likes for a dollar a day. And you can see it has several comments of people tagging people like, do this, do this, do this. We're going to do this tomorrow. Um, check this out. So well, all that's doing, and I've gotten several likes on my page. Like, I don't even know. Like, it, it's crazy how how just that one thirty dollar ad boosted like see like this week i i got 127 likes on my page this week that's been happening every week since july 1st okay the secret that i'm going to share with you right now is a secret that i got from um shalene johnson there's marley um the secret that i got for like pages like if you want to start priming your page for video because if you've seen the video, um, YouTube video that I posted in the team page that said that video is going to account for over, you know, half of the internet in the next coming year. I mean, more than a half. It's, a video is going to be taking over. Um, you want to prime your page for video. Okay. I got this tip from Shalene Johnson and there's no doubt in my mind. That's why I had such a great return on that little $30 ad because it was video. Okay. I boosted it into the newsfeed. Um, just, it was the right time. So, so for the whole month of, I think, June, like towards the end of June, for three weeks, I've been priming my page for video. And what that means is, see these, see these videos that I've shared on my page? Like this is, this is a video that I got from Funniest and Craziest Videos page. So as my like page, this cat just gets his mug right in, in, the, in the video. <laughs> That's funny. You know, and people love it. Like look at how many... Look at how many people, like 5 million people viewed that. So it's a popular video and you want to do that with popular videos. Um, I did that with this, um, with this mom and child. So they blindfolded these kids and they lined their mothers up and these kids were able to tell who their mothers were just by them touching them. It's very sweet. It was a very sweet video. It got viewed over 12 million times off of this shadow Searfroth's video. So, so what I've been doing is like I've just kind of been paying attention to those viral videos. And then on my like page, I share them one a day, one video a day I share on my like page. So, um, and that's primed my page to get more likes or to get more views when I post a video because Facebook, because people like, like Facebook recognizes that video is very popular. So therefore it catapults your page into the newsfeed because it sees that a bajillion people love this video that you posted and Facebook wants to share more of what people want to see in the newsfeed. 
okay? So that's how your page gets more views. And the way that you do that is you have to make sure that you select your Facebook page. Okay, you select your Facebook page so that you're acting as your Facebook person. So you're, I'm acting as Fit Liz Bellini. And you go to the page that you wanna share or whatever that has video on it. Um, I think like, I think like Katherine Heigl had a cute um, video on her, on her page. So I go to Katherine Heigl's page and she has, I, I don't know, like you just go to videos. You can just see that she has like some cute videos. Oh, it's this one. I love this. I shared this on my page because it's hilarious. It's the one with the bread. So like, Yeah, so the bread makes you fat video. It was just hilarious. I shared it on my page. So you would hit share because you're sharing as, I'm sharing as Fit Liz Bellini, and I would say, oh my God, this is so me or something like that. Like, oh my God, I love bread. Bread makes you fat, like an exclamation point. Like something, you're just sharing it because it's funny and it was viewed over, you know, 500,000 times and people loved it. Share it on your page. And then it, and then it posts to your like page, okay? If you have questions about this, just ask me um, in the team page because I'm happy to go over this because I know this is a lot of information, but I'm telling you that it's good information if you want exposure to your like page, okay? So that is, um, you know, really wanted to share with you about, you know, priming your page for video. This could have been like a training all in itself. You know, it, it really could have. But I wanted to make sure that I touch base on Facebook ads, um, how to get more reach on your Facebook page, because I really think that in addition to your guys' power hour that you're going to be doing consistently, this is going to help because it's going to bring more people liking your page so that you can friend them and then message them. Okay. That's how I've personally been building my my, 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 my following for the past six or seven months. I've been doing this since January. Okay. So it's, it's really brought in my network. And I think every, I think if, if we get everybody doing what I've been doing for the past seven months, Oh my God, you know, hashtag mind blown. Like that's how big, like our team could grow. Okay. Because we're starting to, we, we have a system. We know what works. I know it works. I've been doing it for the past seven months and now I'm teaching you how to do it. And it's just, it's going to be frustrating. And it, you're going to have snags and you're going to have something that totally ticks you off and just going to make you want to say, screw this. I don't want to do this anymore. But if you just stay consistent with it, we'll work through it. And as we work as a team, we'll get through it. Okay. Um, and it works. I promise you it works. So, so I'm ending the call here, but I just want to recap what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're spearheading. If we're focusing on these things, this is what we're doing. Number one, success club. Get it in your head that it's non-negotiable. You may not know how you're going to hit Success Club, but if you believe that you will, then you will. Just tell yourself that you're going to hit it and then do everything in your power to do it. Okay? Success Club from now until December 31st is non-negotiable every single month. Power hour, guys. Power hour every single day. If it's the only thing you do on your Beachbody business that day is that power hour, then you know you did your job. You know, I share this all the time. I have this saying on the side of my wall, it says, what did I do today to push my, myself closer to my goals? And if that one thing was just that one power hour, then you did your job. Then you did your job and you can be at peace with that. No more, no less. Okay. You did that one thing that's going to push you to your goals, whatever it is with coaching. All right. We want to do those vital things consistently. Consistency is the name of the game. All right. Follow the team calendar. All right. Free clean eating group starting in August. Glance group, glance into coaching group every week on Tuesdays with the webinar. Run challenge groups. Have a challenge group running every single month so you have something to invite people to. All right. Use Anita script and put the coaching opportunity in front of everybody. Everybody, whether they're going to actively coach or not. So they're either going to actively coach or they're going to get the discount and concentrate on themselves while saving some money. Okay. That's the two things. Um, you're going to start utilizing Facebook to promote your page or to, to promote yourself as a coach. Okay. Whether it's going to be on your like page or you're going to, you know, still kind of work your, your main page. Um, 
whichever it is, just be consistent with that. You know, the jabs, 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 right hook. Okay. Do a lot of messaging behind the scenes scenes. Okay. So do more jabs behind, behind or, or hooks behind the scenes and do most of your jabs in the front of the scenes. Okay. Um, let's see here. Stay engaged. That's like the biggest thing. Okay. Stay engaged with the team page, stay engaged with your team cup, stay engaged with the team calls whenever we have them. Um, you know, if you want to catch fire, you got to stay close to the heat. That is one of the biggest things I can remember being a coach in 2011, sitting on Tommy Migrant's Monday night swarm calls. And if one thing has stuck into my head, it's been, you know, if you want to catch fire, stay close to the heat. I've never strayed from the team. I've always stayed with the team and it's never failed me. Okay. If anything, I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about vital behaviors. I'm not talking about, um, you know, power hours. I'm talking about staying in, um, engaged with people who are like-minded in, in a mission that is positive and that is good. Okay. Because this is not just about points and it's not just about, how, how many, you know, successful points we can get or, or, or who can be diamond and, or who can be whatever. Okay. This is about our own personal journeys too. It's about living the most healthy and fulfilling life that we can so that we can teach others how to live healthy and more fulfilling lives too. Okay. Don't ever stray from that vision. Don't ever stray from that core belief. Okay. And you do that by staying engaged with the team. Okay. I've been saying this a lot. I've been saying, don't look left. Don't look right. Look straight ahead and, and just know what your goal is. Know what the vision of the team is and stay engaged into it and know that you're going to have roadblocks, know that you're going to run into snags, but I believe in this team so much. And just in the past couple of months, I've seen exactly what this team can do. And it, it just makes me so excited for, for, for not just the rest of the year, but I mean, I mean, 2015 has been amazing and we have so much more of it left, but I'm telling you, 2016 is going to freaking rock your socks. Like so many great things are happening for all of us and I'm so excited for it. So I know there was a lot of information tonight. This call is being recorded. So if there's anything that you missed or, or you need to go over it again, go back and re-listen to the call, check your notes or post in the team page or reach out to me and I can, can help with whatever it is. All right. That's all I have for you guys. What, Jessica, you said what app? What app did you use to make your video? Oh, um, I, well, I just use my iPhone. First of all, I just use my iPhone to take video. I take the video with my iPhone, and then I use um, a app called Pick, Play, Post. Pick, Play, Post. So, um, yeah. Pick play post. And it's kind of tricky. I learned, I mean, I learned how to put the words on the bottom of it um, from a tip from Shaleen. It's kind of tricky. So if you can't figure it out, just ask me and I'll and I'll I'll spill the beans on how to do it because the app doesn't do a good job of explaining how to use the freaking app. You know, I learned I learned how to use the app from Shaleen. Um so and it's and it's easy. So, but yeah, um, I know, I know it, editing video is hard. Like, I mean, but if you're using like your phone, they make it really easy for you. Like play pick post makes it pretty easy. It, it really does. And it's just a matter of, um, you know, playing around with it. Um, and Marley says splice is a good app for videos. I, I also, what else do I use? I use, um, iMovie. I think it comes on the iPhone. Or you could download it. I might have paid extra for iMovie. But iMovie is it's pretty cool. I've used iMovie too. Yeah, iMovie is good. So um, that is what I have for a team call tonight. I, I ran over just a little bit more than I wanted to, but I know it's 10 o'clock on the East Coast. So I want to let everybody go. Um, TGIF tomorrow. Um, get to a super Saturday if you can, uh, you know, get, get to a super Saturday if you can, um, or, or if you can't stalk the people who are going so that way you can catch fire somehow. But, um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I will be seeing you guys on the team page. All right. What's super Saturday? Marley post, post about it in the team page. We'll tell you what super Saturday is. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Good night.